Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here. And today we are going to do those beautiful ombre baby boomer with the colors of the rainbow. So I check the picture out exactly what we're going to do today. And I wish to also say a huge thank you to all the members and that's the beautiful concepts by Paula, uh, Agneta T, I hope I pronounced the names good, Alexa C, Mariela V, uh, Neil Addicts, uh, Beth B, Natalie G and uh, Jenny P. I do really appreciate your support as well. So mm, thank you so much. Feel free to request anything you would like to see on this channel because uh, you are helping me uh, a lot uh, joining those member memberships list. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, let's start this tutorial. So for this tutorial, we'll be using the fiber gel and I will do a quick rebalance. It's kind of like a mini rebalance on this needle, uh, needles and then we will do the rainbow, ba rainbow baby boomer. Uh, so I will start off with scratching the surface of my um, needle extensions. Like I have already filed them, so there is not going to be much work. Just really itching the surface of the natural needle. Uh, there is um, quite a lot of tutorials how I'm doing the rebalance, so I thought like I'm not going to show you the first part, how to remove the color, or because it's no point. You can check this out on the other ones. So I'm just doing a couple of scratches. And then my next step would be to remove the dust which is on the nails. So just with the brush I'm removing any dust and now we are ready for a gel application. So using the blue scrub which is a nail dehydrator I'm just cleaning the surface of the nail. Making sure they're really nicely dehydrated. And then use an extra dehydrator, that's the blue bottle, just on the natural nail. The growth is not really big on this nail, so the rebalance will be very quick. And then Universal Air Bond, so that's the product. Again, only on the natural nail. And then we are going just to fill those nails in. So I just swap the products. The color I'm going to use is a light rose. It's like a kind of cover gel. And for baby boomer, it will look really nice. And because I've got some kind of transparent pink underneath, like a sheer pink, uh, it is not going to be too strong. So I'm picking up the scope of the product on the, <laughs> on the one side of my brush. And I will apply it like a nail polish. So I remove the excess of the product and just apply it like a nail polish. You can help your like if you're doing on a client I always holding their nail folds down so I can really cap all the free edge and I, I do distribute the product everywhere. Here is pretty warm because of the uh, recording settings so sorry guys so I'm going to do only one or two nails at the time but if the temperatures allowed you to do it you can do like even all five so wrapping this product into the nails again pull it down so you cap all the free edge This, the product still doesn't run, so I can easily do one more. And uh, those of you which are with me a much longer time, you could probably uh, watch the video where I have done first time my 
um, right hand with my not dominant hand and what a struggle it was like on the beginning the cameraman Patrick he was helping me out like to file the news with the e-file and um, I was really struggling but now like the more often I do it the better it gets actually I can do all five nails probably and um, yeah it just shows you that practice does really make perfect and the same when I was doing the one stroke like first one stroke which I have done it was like a disaster honestly like it was so many years ago I would say about nine ten years ago and it was so ugly and now I feel really confident doing a one stroke so because I need to take into the consideration that I'm going to um, apply the product on the other nails as well, I'm building my apex, kind of moving it forward just at the places where I miss and then remove the excess of the product. By the time I apply it on the others, this one will just nicely self-level. So I'm just backfilling those nails. Blend it out. Don't go too close on the sides because by the time you put it to the lamp, the product will run to the side. And this is also a really small growth as well, so we don't need lots of product. I still keep an eye on my other nails to check if they are okay still for me to apply another. Um, structure on the nails and if they are okay I can keep continuing smooth that out okay so they still don't run on the cuticles which is awesome and then the last one just in case I will turn them back so I can do my thumb there we are and just filling the thumb Check them out they didn't run i can cook them all so in a case of like very small uh, backfill you can do and but always check the temperatures so like this nails didn't run and i was allowed to, like it allowed me to do all five at the same time most of the time that's how i work in the salon i would do four nails at the time swap the hands and then i will do the thumb separately uh, but still cure in the same position there is an also, also another good tip when you're applying the product on the thumb and when it's curing it goes this position like this so what i'm always doing is i'm putting more product on this side so by the time it is in the lamp the product is going to run to this side and when the nail is cure it's just a perfect shape so i'm like here i would apply nice and straight the way i need it and on the thumb more on the side so the product runs by the time you put it to the lamp and by the time it's cure. It works perfect for me and it's like such a huge time saver as well. So I'm just going to a couple seconds more cure and then we can shave those nails. So I will show you how to shave them as well. And then we go straight into the colorful rainbow baby boomer. Okay, so that's them cooked. UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer. And you can see the apex and you can see the shape so i'm not going to have much of the filing i will show you on two nails and then on the rest i will do it on my own and come back to you just so you are not bored so when filing those nails i'm just um, touching the side walls first actually let's go like this one side wall other side wall and on the cuticle area so everything has to be nicely blend in here. And now I have to just smooth all surface of it. So that's the movement I'm doing. And the coffin shapes really like those movements as well, like going up the top I show you different angle. So when we've got the nail, it's like those kind of movements. Then it looks even more coffin. <laughs> So just smooth that out. And to be honest, guys, that's it. I don't need any more filing, like, because the shape is nice. 
So side, side. So it's really just perfecting the shape around the cuticle area. One side, other side, turn the file. Okay, so we filed and blend those cuticle area. Now smooth it all over. And I will repeat this movement on the rest of the nails. And here we can swap into the buffer. So I'm just grabbing my buffer and I will be doing exactly the same movement. So pull down, up the angle, up the angle, and then all over. Okay, blend that cuticle area. Can I show you the shape? Okay, you can still see this area is not blended and that's where I could get the lifting. So I need to go back with the file and file this parts more. If you don't, that's the place where the nail can lift. You don't want any jumps. You want that to be completely blended with the natural nail. So all the product here has to be blended. Okay, and that's the, the fill, like, like the, the product, the joint line is gone now. I show you that. And I have nothing to catch. So this way my nail is going to stay on really, really nice and long time. Okay, I'm going to do it on all of my nails and then we move on into the baby boomer. Okay, so that's them all buffed. I'm going to use the blue scrub just to clean all those nails. Nice and squeaky. And now we can start preparing our baby boomers colors. So you've got few options. Actually, let me clean that as well. And the first option, and that's always works best. Like for me, it's always works best. Is the quickest and like the less layers. So this is a Color Plus gel. They are really highly pigmented and they are exactly the same like the paint on French gel. And I show you a few different ways and different results as well. So I will be using my spatula and I'm going to pick up. We've got five nails, so five colors. One, two, three four, five. Okay, so we've got five colors. You could do it with the gel polish, but I bet it will take you like 10 layers. <laughs> and then I'm just picking up a very small scoop of this blue and mixing it out. So that's my first color, blue. Then my next color is going to be yellow. I want them to be really nice and pastel -y. So I've got yellow. And the red to make a nice pink. Now we also need the purple. And the best way to get the purple is to mix your blue with the pink. So we got a really nice violet color. What other colors we're missing? We're missing maybe some pastel orange or we're missing green. Let's do... Let's do some green. So a drop of blue, drop of yellow. And we've got some green. Cool, so we've got all the rainbow colors here. And now we can start doing the baby boomer. You are also going to need a little bit of the tape to clean your sponge. So I'm just going to put it up here. Okay. 
so always on the table and to make the life easier for me I will cut the sponge into half so I've got more colors and a one sponge okay after I have cut it I'm cleaning it because there are always some bits and pieces of something so I'm just cleaning the sponge and I will be cleaning it quite often and now let's start applying this gel so let me grab some new art brush okay I'll use this one so we go for yellow no green I don't like the green the most so here is going to be green Take a sponge, actually let me, there we are. So take a sponge and now we are start blending it. So first of all we are rubbing the product and just rub that in quite nice and high. Okay, then I can apply the second layer. And again, blend that in. Okay, so we've got first layer of the green one. And now I can go after the green, the blue will go. So apply a tiny bit of it, use the other side of the sponge, brush that out. Also another tip for you guys, because some of you asked me this question before, if you're doing a baby boomer and your product control isn't best and you're getting lots of air bubbles, the gel is going to stuck into those holes. So what you have to do is you, after you finish buffing the nails, apply the top coat on the fill nail and then buff it and then do your baby boomer because the top coat will fill up all your holes and this way you will get a nice and clean baby boomer. And now I'm not brushing anymore, now I'm dabbing a little bit. Okay, another color this is going to be blue so after the blue I'm going to go into the yellow so clean my brush properly pick up the yellow put it in clean the sponge and then brush first of all in so brushing, brushing, brushing. So you can hardly see this color at this stage. Actually, it is a bit fiddly because of all those different colors. So each time I have to pick up different color, normally I just slap the product on with the one color and then blend that in. A bit of hair. So yes, make sure there is no bits and pieces of anything. And the reason why I have used this white as well, because it's so highly pigmented, that uh, the sponge doesn't absorb it. Okay, I can clean my brush again, and we are going to go into another color. And this is going to, with the yellow, the purple goes next. And use another side of the sponge so I have to wrap that in into kind of v-shape and 
and then apply another layer so I can dab dab in. So dabbing in. And the last one is going to be pink. Another side of the sponge. Clean it first. V shape. Okay, so the first one is almost invisible. The first layer is almost visi invisible. This way you get the, the nicest blend. And then the second layer is a little bit more visible. Because we are dabbing now. We don't need to wipe it away. Okay, so that's how this colors looks after the first uh, layer before curing. I'm going to put them into the lamp and then do the second layer. Okay, and that's my first layer cure. And we are going to do exactly the same. So on the green one, I just move that all out. So green sponge, I will just dab it in and the sponge will be quicker than cleaning the brushes each time. And I'm going to brush that in. If you've got any bits and pieces, clean it on the, spo uh, on the tape. And try to keep it those V-shape. If you've got too much somewhere, clean part of the sponge and just blend that out. Okay, if you, if you want to go higher, dab dab in because that will leave you less product. Then the blue one, so I'm just dipping in and going into the blue one. And you can already see the coverage is getting better and better. So those the blending. And it's also depending on the length of the nails. So if I've got like extremely short nails, like in a salon, usually a natural nails with the gel polish, then the first layer would be enough. Um, if I've got kind of medium length, two layers would be good. And then if we've got really long nails, I would suggest you do it at over three layers to get a nicer results. Okay, I can clean that out. Make sure you clean any bits and pieces before you uh, cure it. Otherwise, it will just stain the fingers really bad. Then the yellow one. Again, I've got some dirt in here. So what I'm doing is I'm brushing that away, cleaning off on the tape, and then I can continue. This is just to protect my um, nail folds. I don't want them to get really dirty. Definitely with the one color, it's just like much quicker, especially with the white. I'm like, dab, 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 that's it done. Uh, with the few colors, it's just taking much longer time. Then the purple one. Look how nicely the color changed, much darker now. But I don't want it to be overly too dark. I want to keep kind of those pastel-y look to it. Because I think it looks much nicer. Okay, and then the pink one. So again, much, much darker. What else you can do is like grab the clean part of the sponge. So I've got one in here, clean it. And see, I don't like the blending here. So I'm just touching with the clean sponge. 
to blend that better. Same in here, blend that better. Blend that better. And cool, and now I can cook them in. So I show you this view as well. And I can cook, uh, cure them. Okay, now we have to apply the top coat. I also like the baby boomer with the um, uh, Aurora pigments and I think it looks just so awesome, especially with this color. So we are going to apply that as well. So I'm just applying a thin layer of the no wipe top gel. And oh, I've got some wee bits and pieces here. Make sure it's nice and clean, there is no bits and pieces. <laughs> And uh, when we apply the top coat also, uh, you can see how much the baby boomer changed. It looks so much nicer and so much blended. So yeah, make sure you have no bits and pieces because you will struggle like me now. And then another new. And after we cook it, we'll wrap in those Aurora pigment just to make them fantastic looking rainbow nails. And uh, pinky. The farm. Actually, I like the pink on the farm. For the no wipe top gel for the pigments, so they look nice. We have to cure it for a sixty seconds exactly, and then wrap the pigments into the uh, top coat. And I show you that as well. So we'll just put it in, cook it 60 seconds exactly. Okay, so I'm just going to put those Aurora pigment into the lid. Just so I can pick it on my finger. It have been clean. And now I'm going to rub that in. It just looks so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So yes, firstly, just a tiny bits and pieces of the pigment, and then we are going to start wrapping this in. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just taking a finger and I'm rubbing everything in. If we want to get this mirror kind of look, we need to rub it, it strongly in. And also I show you what to do so they last and they don't chip. I've got the silicone tools, I've got the makeup uh, eyeshadow applicators. Um, I just still prefer my finger. Uh, yes, feel free to use the eye applic like eyeshadow applicator. Okay, so that's the pigment wrap in. And you can see they look really nice and sparkly the next step would be to do a couple of the scratches with the nail file and those scratches preventing the top coat from chipping so it is not the pigment which chips it's a top coat which uh, shouldn't be stick into the shiny surface because we've got no wipe top coat which doesn't um, have an inhibition layer and is shiny so the next layer of the top coat have nothing to stick to and that's why it's chips so I'm creating those scratches and then my top coat is going to stick into that. Then using the soft brush, I'm just close my products. 
always make sure you've got the products close if you don't want them to be full of those bits and pieces and remove the excess of the pigment so you can see they are nice and clean now and then apply the top coat Actually, I love the, I'm not the fan of the purple uh, color, but I do really like this combination with the Baby Boomer and the Aurora pigment on. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Actually, tell me which was your favorite color. Uh, as I say, I'm not the fan of the purple, but I think the purple looks the nicest. And it's the first time ever I'm having probably purple nails. <laughs> Because you always see me wearing nudes, baby boomers, black. Uh, that's something I wear a, lo a lot of time. Uh, I'm actually curious what are your favorite colors to wear and which of these colors you have liked the most. I think I could go with the blue and I'm so surprised about this purple. Yes, I could go with the purple as well. And uh, definitely I could go with the pink too. And I'm not... A kind of pink person if that makes sense like you always see me on the beginning of those tutorials like wearing black 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 all the time and it's funny because when i was younger i used to wear lots of white blue and pink so i'm just applying the top coat on the entire nails check the ones i have touched and then give them a final cook and show you the final results if you have enjoyed uh, also actually guys yeah you have been seeing me working with those nails as well they all have a label on the channel so we've got like a classic square nails again i'm not the fan of those type of nails to me they feel a bit heavy it is pretty nicely pinch like but i still feel they are kind of white we've got some coffee nails we've got a russian almond and you can see the side view actually i chopped it off when i was cutting some bananas uh, so I have to retouch it and then I've got the pointy almond in a salon I do quite a lot of this uh, shape like uh, of the pointy almond as well if someone has a um, if someone wants a longer nails and the stiletto again it's nothing too extreme uh, just a kind of usual length so I need a couple seconds more of the cure and then I show you the final results if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial give me a like if you're new in here hit the subscribe button as there is lots of great ones coming up and uh, I'm always here Mondays, sometimes Wednesday, Saturdays and uh, depending of like life circumstances like which have been pretty hard when I was um, putting videos much more often so uh, each time when I've got just a couple seconds uh, of that might be not a couple seconds couple hours of the spare time I'm just recording more and more tutorials so let me clean that and that's the final look of those rainbow news to put a smile on your face so glittery hugs bye for now